I took probabilities and statistics for machine learning and data science from Deep Learning AI last summer, and this is my certificate. And in my point of view, this course is very beginner friendly and it greatly helped me understand some more advanced topics in quality finance that apply a lot of statistical knowledge. So in today's video, I'm going to review this course based on my personal experience. And um, by the way, probability and the statistics is actually one of the course series in mathematics for machine learning and the data science specialization. The other two courses in this specialization are linear algebra and uh, calculus. So if you are not familiar with math at all, I'd recommend that you should study the entire specialization and uh, you will get a certificate like this after completion. Anyway, let's quickly jump into the major part of today's video. But before reviewing this course contents, I'd like to talk about what types of people are the good fit for this course. So firstly, if you want to study data science, machine learning, deep learning, and so on, but you are currently stuck because you have very little or even no exposure to statistics, you want to you know, quickly grab some basics and get yourself familiar with the broad concepts. Or let me put it in the other word, at the current stage, you want to focus on the width instead of the depths of knowledge in statistics, this course is for you because from the first week to the last week, you will learn a full range of statistical knowledge that is applied most in the real world. Secondly, this course is for you if you're just like me. I once downloaded some statistics books online and determined to read line by line and absorbed everything, but no longer than a week. I quit. I also attended some lectures from the university, but I feel so bored and my mind was already in the middle of nowhere when it was only, you know, 15 minutes into the lecture because I feel the professor's voice was pretty much like lullaby. And uh, in the next lecture, my name no longer appeared in the attendance list. Boring. So if books don't work, and the lectures don't work either. This course might work for you. Seriously, this course can engage you more because the instructors actually use a lot of simple examples and visualization to help you understand what's going on in every piece of knowledge. So let's check the course page and uh, let's get some basic idea of it. So as you can see here, the instructor's name is called Luis Serrano, sounds like Spanish name. And he's one of the members in NGE's Deep Learning AI team. He also has his YouTube channel called Serrano Academy, where he shared many advanced topics in machine learning, deep learning, and math. As you can see, he uh, got a lot of degrees in mathematics and he also has many years of work experience. So I think he definitely deserves to say due to how knowledgeable he is. Also, don't be disappointed that the instructor is not Andrew Ying, because as someone who also took machine learning specialization taught by Andrew, I feel they have a quite similar teaching style, which is uh, to explain a concept uh, as gettable as possible. I think there must be deep learning AI's value proposition as brand, and uh, you only need to know some high school math and uh, basic coding knowledge as prerequisite. The deadline is very flexible, so in case you procrastinate, you can put out the deadline. The entire course consists of uh, four weeks. So depending on your schedule, I think you can complete everything in uh, roughly one month. Then let's check it out what you can really learn from each week. The proportions of the probability and the statistics in this course are like 50-50. In the first two weeks, the focus is on probability, and in the rest of two weeks, Louis then switch back to uh, statistics. In terms of the first week, as the title stressed, Louis started everything with very basic definition of a probability, and uh, he moved into how to calculate, let's say, the probabilities of uh, joint events, joint event and the conditional probability. He then explained how these stuff are related to Bayesian statistics. Also, he talked about five most common statistical distributions, how their probability mass functions, probability density functions, and the cumulative density functions look like. And along the way, he presented a lot of graphs and the simple examples to help you understand these concepts. Now, in the weekly coding assignment, you will be applying naive based on statistics he taught to a topic called spam email detection. And I think this is a very practical and interesting. 
Since after the first week, you will get basics about probability distributions. The second week's knowledge is based upon the first week. You will be learning how to describe distributions for data analysis purpose. The second week covers a lot of things like mean, variance, skewness, and kurtosis by showing some very simple calculations and examples. And Louis also explained their differences and how to pick the correct measure in different scenarios. So these four measures measurements just to show you a number when it comes to data description. But in order to help you better understand how your data look like or describe your data graphically, this week also introduced four very common data visualization graphs, which are box plots, kernel density, violin plots, and the QQ plots. And the coding assignment is just about data analysis by using these four measures and the visualization skills. Then in the next week, the focus is switched to statistics instead of being on probability. But Lewis actually used probability distribution he talked in the first two weeks to explain some of the very, very important concepts like central limit theory, maximum likelihood estimation, and how these are related to Bayesian statistics, choosing the best machine learning model and why overfitting is issue. But this week doesn't even have a coding assignment, it only has to ungraded labs that can deepen your understanding in probability distributions and uh, how they can be used in real data analysis. In the last week, I think you are going to learn the most, most important concepts in statistics. So if you want to become data scientist in the future, your entire career probably cannot escape from hypothesis testing. So you need to grab some concepts like confidence intervals, p-value, t-test, and so on. And you can learn pretty much everything from the last week. I also personally really like the coding assignment of this week, which is uh, A-B testing, because A-B testing is like really hot topic in data science and it's being asked by a lot of recruiters during data science interviews. So the first reason why I really like course and why I highly recommend it is that you can learn a full bunch of uh, probability and uh, statistics, ranging from how to calculate probabilities of some random events to uh, conducting hypothesis testing. And I think it is exactly the ways of knowledge that make this course very uh, beginner friendly. It might sound a bit of uh, counterintuitive, but it's just like, you know, construction workers always build the framework of a house first before decorating each room, right? So building the framework of any knowledge allows you to know which branch of a tree to grow if there's a new knowledge coming in. Then at the end of the day, your knowledge will become more organized and systemic. So this course won't fail you if you want to build the framework in statistics. And after that, you can dive really deep into other field of the statistics, for example, like a Bayesian theory. And the second lay, I like this course also because of uh, its structure and the Lewis way of teaching because uh, from week one to week four he will learn really a lot of knowledge but Lewis started with something very basic and simple and then gradually upgraded to uh, uh, more difficult and complex topics also when I was studying this course I feel a lot of knowledge have a connection with each other instead of uh, standing there alone uh, for example in the first week Lewis expanded conditional probability into a uh, basic statistics but then in the work three he then tied back to Bayesian statistics and also instead of only teaching probability distributions he also explained how we can use different distributions to calculate maximum likelihood estimation and uh, I also want to mention is that he used a lot of visualization to make this very interesting and uh, understandable Lastly, I think this course is very practical and useful. As its title stress, this is a statistic course applied in data science and machine learning. So you can filter out other statistical knowledge, which is uh, not very important for learning data science. And uh, the coding assignments allow you to apply what you learn immediately to some projects. I really like the coding assignments from the first and the last weeks called Naive Bath and the A-B Testing. So if you are going to register this course, I stress you to take them seriously. Also, as I'm currently working as data scientist or quantitative analyst or whatever, I want to say that what I currently use on a daily basis is pretty much like uh, applying confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, etc.
because I really cannot find any dislike in this course, I can give you some of my personal tips. So tip one, I think you can check some books about statistics as your reading material. I know some of the good books, for example, like a beginning uh, statistics and the statistical inference and by the way this one is very good and a classic i put the links of these books down below if you are interested also if you have any other books to suggest you can also tell me in the comments down below then tip two as i mentioned before this course only covers basics so if you want to have a deeper understanding in uh, statistics you may as well pick one of the fields in statistics and dive really deep into it for example this course only teaches you very basic naive Bayesian statistics but you can also jump into more advanced Bayesian theory there are also a lot of courses in Coursera about it so in case you have a such need I uh, recommend Bayesian statistics specialization from University of California I will also put uh, this down below so I hope you're really enjoying this video and uh, if you are really going to take this course good luck on you see you next time bye